What is good YouTube, Voice you here with a video on the Teen Titans, the Judas Contract, which is the latest, latest DC animated comic book movie, I guess you could call it. So if you didn't know, the Judas Contract comes from a four part origin story that was printed issue 42 and 44 of the Tales of the Teen Titans. And then it concluded in 1984, 1984 with the Tales of the Teen Titans annual. So there's a YouTuber called Comic Storian. He's massive. You should know who it is. I'm gonna I'm gonna put the link to the video so you can watch the kind of backstory and the whole comic book story play out if you are interested. So within this animated movie, Raven, Robin, Beast Boy, Blue Beetle, Starfire, and Nightwing are the main kind of Teen Titans characters. Uh, where the hell is <laughs> Cyborg? I didn't really understand why Cyborg wasn't in it. And then we have Bumblebee, Kid Flash, and Red Arrow. The reason I listed them three last is because we see them at the start of the movie and then they kind of vanish, which is really strange. Because seeing as Kid Flash goes to check out what's going on, really liking his look, and uh, we don't really see much more of Bumblebee, and we see a bit of like Red Arrow uh, when Starfire is coming into the program, but then they kind of disappear. But, but what's really weird about this is we get Robin and Nightwing in the same kind of Teen Titans group at the same time, which I've never actually seen long term. I mean, I can't remember watching any Teen Titans go with both them two people in it at the same time for a very long period let me know down below squad if uh, if that's different so terra's in this she's a new member of the team titans uh the main villain is brother 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 blood but death he's hired deathstroke hence the judas contract name he's put a contract to deathstroke to basically take out the team titans so deathstroke catches the team titans via terra terra who's joined the team titans for about a year she's gained their trust but ultimately she's going to screw him because brother blood wants to drain their powers and it's like a generic kind of villain brother blood wants all the power so he's going to drain the teen titans power so he can become like some kind of super super god i guess you could call him so the movie dealt with a lot of personal battles within the teen titans blue beetles was dealing with the struggles of being isolated from his family as he can't control the beetle from my kind of interpretation and his family didn't really accept it but towards the end they kind of accept him and there's a cute bit where he cuddles his dad and they kind of ex he they accepts him nightwing moves in with starfire and interesting enough he wore his red outfit and his blue outfit throughout this so we got a flashback i guess you could call it to tara's backstory her family killed or well, tried to kill her once they found out about her powers which was kind of insane they kind of made her look like a witch but then deathstroke saved her and that's kind of why she's loyal to deathstroke and she betrayed her family aka the teen titans so i think the narrative is pretty good um so then towards the end she screws them helps deathstroke catch them all uh but they don't actually catch a nightwing because nightwing deathstroke thinks he's killed him but he didn't actually kill him but it's just kind of obvious so at the end deathstroke screwed tara terra god why do i keep saying that terra so um basically brother blood said the contract was for all the teen titans so instead of nightwing they used terra and obviously terra's like uh vegeta level level 9000 power he's like well like a dragon ball z kind of super saiyan god i guess you could say just a very powerful person terra can like move crazy amount of objects with kind of she's similar to raven in ways i guess so in the end terra turns good to save the titans and she kind of sacrifices herself to save the teen titans but it wasn't clear if she actually died i mean i've watched the ending a few times i mean it looks like she died but i don't think she did and also deathstroke kind of got killed by her um and deathstroke tried to talk his way out of it but terra killed him or at least it appears like she killed him but i don't really think she did as deathstroke is amazing so raven removed brother blood's powers and then basically the rest of team titans absolutely bust 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 him so yeah i guess the main villain was a bit weak but the overall story for me being a dc fanboy 
and the big Teen Titans kind of go fan. It was pretty good. I, I just feel like they should have made it a bit more quirky, a bit more funny, a bit more less serious than, than the Teen Titans show. So there was a nice little Kevin Smith podcast at the end. That was awesome. I didn't expect to see him in there. An interview with Beast Boy because he's got like 1 million Twitter subscribers, so um, followers even. So that was quite cool. Yeah? So they might have introduced a new member of Teen Titans right at the end. Donna Troy, I don't know much about her. But uh, they said they said he said about the new Teen Titans. Then we see this like this lady flying in the sky, kid. I guess it's hard to work out how, how old these kind of animated characters are. But she didn't look very old. Then um, I mean the question that keeps popping up on a lot of Teen Titans things is Jericho. Was that Jericho at the end? And he had like Brother Blood kind of voice. So um, this ain't normally my usual kind of video that I do, but I did really enjoy this kind of Teen Titans fun animation. I just feel like Nightwing wasn't really given much of a narrative. Robin wasn't really given much of a kind of storyline. And uh, Deathstroke's origin story, they, they should have told you more about Deathstroke's origin story because not everyone that watches this will know his backstory. But overall, I'd give it a solid 8 out of 10. So if you want me to do more movie animated reviews like this, um, now I've got a bit more of a following. I'm going to try and do expand on my kind of video coverage of what I do. So uh, please, if you did like this, like, subscribe and comment if you want to, as it would be cool. And it shows me that you're sending me love. So if you did watch it, what did you think? Um, let me know what was your favorite moment. Do you know why Kid Flash kind of disappeared and Red Arrow kind of disappeared? There were a bit inconsistencies how like Cy, where the hell was Cyborg and, and some other things like that. But overall, it was pretty sick. And like I said, let me know all your thoughts and theories and where do you think they're going with that post credit scene? Um, yeah, so like normally, like normal even, please like, subscribe and comment if you want to. And I'll catch you in another video. Peace out.